are some Oregon traditions that are as old as the territories, earliest days when pioneers arrived and set down roots and planted crops, some as simple and as beautiful as this, the apple. Hi there, I'm Grant McComey, your host for Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways, and this week we discover a resurgence of interest and for some a real passion for the apple, not only as delicious fruit to eat, but also pressing into cider. Come on along as we learn how Oregon cider is taking root. It's pressing time of year at Bull Run Cidery in Washington County. There are apples with names you've likely never heard. Mendocino Cox, Newtown Pippin, John Wynn, and even Harry Master Jersey. Hundreds roll along, get scooped up, chopped up, and then hard squeezed until all the juice runs out. People are looking for another alternative. We're in the right place at the right time. It's another choice. It's payoff for a young business that's betting on an old industry making an Oregon comeback. So we're filling bottles today. Bull Run Cider started as fun hobby three years ago for Galen Williams and Peter Mulligan, but it turned serious business last year when friends and customers couldn't get enough of their Oregon-grown hard cider products. The craft brew movement has really laid the groundwork for cider. People are looking for something that has less alcohol than wine, not the hops and the bitterness of beer. And so I think cider really fits that bill. But it turns out cider making is an American history story as rich in nuance and flavor as the apples that made it happen. Yes, quite a heritage. A uh, heritage that goes back centuries into colonial history. Kevin Zielinski says Americans' love affair with cider started down on the farm during America's earliest days, a time when everyone grew apples and made cider as a way to store the fruits of their labor. But all of that changed in the 1920s. During Prohibition, many orchards were taken out that could have traditionally been used for cider making. So ciders had a slow comeback. So Zelensky is part of a historic resurgence in cider making. He's produced Easy Orchards Willamette Valley Cider near Salem for the past decade. He planted 10 apple varieties across 11 acres following a French tradition of cider making that dates back centuries. Something that they can share socially, partner with food, and open up another use of a product that they're already familiar with, the apple. There's really this cider comeback, especially in the Northwest. People are finding out that craft cider really has a place at the table. Two Town Cider in Corvallis offers more than a dozen innovative ciders to customers who visit their tap room. You can get really sweet, mellow, beautiful ciders from Normandy, and you can get crisp, tangy ciders from England. And of course, we kind of have our own Northwest twist on ciders here too. Their craft cider is available in bottles and even cans. Dave Takish says consumers want variety. Oregon and Oregonians, they know about craft and quality. And that's what we're trying to hit with two towns is craft cider. Back at Bull Run Cider. Well, these are third leaf trees. Sean Shepard has planted more than 60 apple varieties and 1,100 trees across four acres. He plans to triple the production in the next couple of years with heritage apple trees like this one called Harrison. A good balance of sweet, tart, and a little tannin. If we plant a bunch of different ones, we'll have a good chance of coming up with some that do very well. And doing well is the goal as they deliver a delicious and unique product and keep a centuries old American craft alive in Oregon made here, grown here, consumed here, and that's what we're looking to do here. The folks at Bull Run Cider are certainly in it for the long haul. The fruit trees that they plant now will take an additional eight to 10 years to reach full production. We have all the details, directions, and contact information so you can reach out to each of these cideries right here on the Travel Oregon website. So be sure to check it out. Until next week, do get out here and explore the great Oregon outdoors and let Travel Oregon be your guide. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McCombie.